Take a good look at these three young ladies. We've lowered our curtain because we're going to replace two members of this team with two different young ladies. Are you all ready back there? Now, may we meet our new team of challengers. You may think that these are the same people you just saw. Actually, you've only seen one of them before. The other two have been replaced by their identical twin sisters. What is your name, please? My name is Cookie Lockhart. My name is Cookie Lockhart. My name is Cookie Lockhart. Only one of these young ladies is the real Cookie Lockhart. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Peggy Cass, Orson Bean, and Kitty Carlisle on To Tell the Truth. To Tell the Truth is brought to you this evening by Polydent Denture Cleanser with new effervescent penetrating power that cleans years off your dentures. Polydent. And now, here's your host, Bob Collier. Thank you very much. And welcome again to the Tell the Truth. Good evening, Pat. Good evening, Good evening <laughs> Oh, boy, open up your envelope and follow along as I read on this first story. I, Cookie Lockhart, am an auctioneer. Both my father and brother are auctioneers, so to keep up with them, I took a course at a school of auctioning where I was the only girl among 127 men. While I specialize in cows, horses, and other livestock, I am equally at home auctioning off antiques, furniture, or real estate. Being a girl auctioneer has both advantages and disadvantages. For example, on one occasion, a man in the audience tried to flirt with me. But in the world of auctions, a wink can be a legitimate bid. So when this fellow winked at me, I sold him 20 head of cattle. <laughs> Signed, Cookie Lockhart. These three young ladies, as you know, all claim to be Cookie Lockhart. I think it's only fair, since I love you all so much, to give you an additional hint, because this is a, a difficult thing. So pay attention now. It is the two imposters who have identical twins. Right. The real Cookie Lockhart has no twin sisters, so you can solve this problem in two ways. Either by questioning in the usual way, or if your powers of observation are keen enough, picking out the one girl in the group who has not been replaced. Doesn't that help? Let's start the questioning with Peggy Cass. I had a nice question. Number three, does your twin ever substitute you for you at auctions? But since you don't have a twin, it's not a very good question. Huh. Number two, uh, when you auction off furniture, do you auction off um, uh, antique furniture? Do you auction off mostly early American or all kinds? All kinds. Thank you. Then number one, what is Biedermeyer? I don't know. You know number two what Biedermeyer is? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know your twin either. Number number uh, three, uh, where where do you hold these auctions? Several different places in barns, sometimes in the big showrooms. Can, number one, do you know what um, sandwich glass is? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Sandwich. They told me not to not to talk so fast. Sandwich glass. Do you know what that is? No, I don't. Arson B. Thank you. Uh, number two. Why did a tradition of auctioneering of livestock develop? Like, not all, like, gooses are not auctioned. You just go and buy a goose. But you don't, you, but you would, uh, you, you go to an auction for certain things. Why did the tradition start in the areas that you auctioneer? Do you understand my question? Uh, like, why is tobacco auctioned and uh, Swiss I'd, chard I'd, is I'd, not? I'd <laughs> like very much to understand your question, but I'm afraid I don't. Oh, all right, there. <laughs> We've been electrocuted. <laughs> Mercy. No, no. Oh, I had such good... I didn't send There's water all over here. <laughs> no. Kitty Carlisle. 
Uh, number three, there are different kinds of uh, elect uh, of, uh, of uh, auctioning. Electrocution. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last mile. This is an accidental death. Uh, the tobacco auctioneers use a special kind of sound. Could you do that kind of auctioneering? The produ producers said we may not. <laughs> no, but you could if you had to. Yes. Uh, number two, does your twin auction things off with you? What are you saying? Does your twin auction things with you? In my who? Your words. twin. My twin. No twin? I didn't have a well, twin. ask her if she has a Have you got a twin? No, I do not. She doesn't have a twin. All right. Number one, do you know who Peter Wilson is? No, I don't. Tom Boston. Well, uh, how can I... Number one, do you have a twin? No, I don't. And number three, you obviously you don't have a twin either, right? Because if you do, you'd lie about it. You're good. <laughs> huh? N number three, you don't have a twin, do you, sweetheart? I wish I did. <laughs> I wish you did, too. Number one, why, why, besides the fact that your father and brother are auctioneers, did you want to go into this business? Very difficult. How, how's that? Number two, is that your reason for going into this career? No, it was easy. It was a family business. Well, all right, number one, would, can you tell us what school this was you, you attended? Nice That's it. American I'm afraid school you probably could, but we've got to start marking ballots and cease asking questions. So mark your ballots, if you will, for the one you think is the real one, without any consultation and without changing once you have marked. Just vote now for number one, number two, or number three. Our team of challengers will, of course, receive $250 for every incorrect vote. Ballots all marked? In, under, and over water and everything. Tom Poston, for whom did you vote? Well, but I voted for number three, and uh, uh, I had to base it on uh, the way she answered the questions and also the fact that I don't think she's got a twin sister <laughs> or brother. Peggy Cat. Well, I voted for number two because she looks like the very same number two as before, and I don't think she was substituted. <laughs> Orson Bean. I agree. It could be any of them. I don't necessarily think that number two seems the most like an auctioneer, but I looked deep into the uh, all six eyes that were up there, <laughs> and when the curtain went up again, the only two looking back at me were number twos. I'm convinced. Of <laughs> Kitty Carlisle. Well, I voted for number one because she has a nice deep voice, and I bet she's a good auctioneer, and I don't think it's she was substitute. I think it's the same girl I sort of start with. Very well. The votes are all in, and the minds are made up, as you heard. Now let's find out which one of these three young ladies, in truth, is Cookie Lockhart. And by way of revealing who the real Cookie Lockhart is, let's do it a little backwards tonight, shall we? Let's have their twin sisters come down and pick out the imposters, okay? <laughs> All right, twin sisters. Uh, oh. 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 You had your moment of the sun. Just to keep the record straight, Cookie Lockhart sells for Lockhart Auction and Realty in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Would you like to have her auction off like a horse? Auction oh, a horse. How about a couple of the twins? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and roll that up there, boys. What'll I get for? At two and a dollar, would a bit a quarter, 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 would get two and a quarter, would I have that two and a half, would a bit seventy five. But you're out on the two seventy five and now three hundred, would get three hundred dollar food on the two seventy five and now three taken out quarter. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's unravel this gorgeous bevy next to you here. Let's see. Uh, number two, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Barbara Benny, and I'm a dispatcher with Eastern Airlines in New York City. And this is my sister, Beverly. And number three, what is your real name and what do you really do? Or I should say, what are your real names? <laughs> my name is Edna Armstrong. This is my sister, Ethel. We're both interior decorators with W&J Sloan in Washington, D.C. Well, I want to tell you, I've seen a lot of identical twins, but I don't think I've ever seen any two sets that are more right. identical than these are. And prettier. You're all lovely. Five lovely ladies gracing our show tonight. Checking the, the score, you did real well because there were three incorrect votes. at three times $250 for a total of $750. And we thank you for being with us. Good night, and God bless you.